Chavi Perry But she don't love me, she's too scary What's up, everybody? I am Jay Chiali, and I'm here and I am back. I am the cat, I am the vixen, and you know I'm a dolly. And I am back and I have another video. And I want to talk about selling the fantasy beyond the physical. Because yes, the physical, that's the main thing, but that's only half of the formula. I'm here to give y'all the second half. But before we get into that, Please like, comment, and subscribe. And do not forget to do what? Kiss me. Turn on the notification bell so that you do not miss another video. Now, let's go back to Hawaii. I told you guys I was going to be using Hawaii as a reference a lot in these um, nightlife series videos. Because Hawaii is a great place and they have a great representation of the fantasy now selling the fantasy beyond the physicality all right now that you've been beating your face and putting on your eyelashes like your big sister told you to we can go on to step two okay now beyond the physical when you are selling the fantasy and you're working in nightlife i want you to understand and remember this nobody wants to give you their money just because now nobody wants to give you their money first and foremost everybody works hard for their money so when you're in nightlife you have to make people want to give you their money they don't have to do it I mean, nowadays, there's a lot of places that have gratuity, and that's a great thing so that people are being paid. But outside of that, what you're getting paid, you know, you can make anywhere from zero to anything because I've been tipped $700 in one table. So it's no range, but you have to make people want to give you their money. And you know how you do that? By looking like a doll because nobody can turn down a beautiful woman <sighs> but outside of that it's a vibe and it's a feeling and you have to have good manners okay nobody is gonna want to give you their money if your attitude is nasty sister and if you got a nasty attitude you need to fix it i'm not playing with you but you're gonna have a great attitude you're going to have a nice attitude. And in fact, before you get to work, you need to do things that is going to boost your vibration. I don't know if that's singing, dancing, having songs playing, but you're going to need to do something to boost your vibration. Now, I know a lot of girls like to do um, drugs before their job, like drinking and smoking and everything else. I don't advise that because I don't want you to be off of your cue. So I wouldn't say do that. But if it's some type of music or some type of activity that you, you like doing that, get your vibe high, make sure you do that because good vibe attract good things. I'm telling you, and good manners do the same exact thing. When you're nice and pleasant to people as you're serving them, and make sure that you smile. Don't forget your smile. That is another part of your uniform is a smile. Make sure you do not forget to smile because that is another way of making people feel great in your presence is by smiling. Smiling is such a heartwarming thing amongst humans. You know this can be a cold world. But smiling is like wax to a candle and you need to do that while serving people and you need to always be pleasant to make people want to pay you. Nobody wants to just give you money, but if you're the kind of person that likes to give out money just be because, I'm going to drop my cash app in the comments and don't, don't you dare hesitate. Thank you. But no, seriously, um, be pleasant. Think about being in Hawaii. Before people even go and visit Hawaii, they see clips and they have visuals of the girls just being happy, nice, pleasant servants and not just like servants as in saying it in a bad way i'm a server so i'm a servant and that's what you want to call it whatever um they're all nice and pleasant and people is expecting that you know what i'm saying and when you're at their table and they're asking for like ketchup five times you don't say ketchup again you, oh sure 
more ketchup coming right out. They're gonna always remember how great that you made them feel. And that's another thing too, don't you ever treat people badly because people will re remember how you made them feel over what you've done any day. So make sure that you always make people feel good in your presence, especially in nightlife because nightlife is something that is built off of clientele. Okay, so if you're trying to build clientele, that's exactly how you do it by treating them like they are the kings and queens of the world. Is that what you would like, babe? Okay, I'll be right back. Give me like two seconds. Although that you may be thinking, God, they want to catch up again. What the? You don't show that. You, oh, I got you. No problem. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. They're going to be like, yo, let me get your number all right because i'm gonna text you every time i'm gonna come in here because i want you to be my server i like how you handle me i want you to always serve me every time i come in here and you're not here i'm walking out and that's how you want them to be about you i places that i work at if i'm not there they walk out because they know nobody gonna treat them like the door treat them they know ain't no, nobody going to scratch their back with these kind of claws but the kid. And that's what you want. In every place that you go and that you tell them you'll build clientele that way. And that equates big bags, baby. That's the only reason why we popping out anyway. If it's no money in the text, don't send it. But that's money in the text. So you better get that money. Treat them people nicely. And that's another thing too. Make sure that you're being attentive while you're pleasing people. Give them some eye contact. Make them feel it. Give the people something that they can feel. That's something that a friend of mine say a lot. But you, you want to make sure that they feel you. So yes. Oh, of course, I'll be coming right back with that. Is that all? Bring out ranch. I got you, baby. I'll be right back. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, there you have it, and there you go. Yes. Okay. All right, I'll be coming right back to check up on y'all. Come back, check up on them. Can I have more ranch? Yeah, of course. I got you nothing. Go back and get you their ranch. Great. You make sure the whole time, no matter how silly and stupid that they run you, don't you dare show aggravation because this is your job. Because if you were in corporate, you can't pick up that phone like, yo, what's good? You, you won't be like, what? Let me speak. <laughs> don't play. They're going to say, hi, this is such and such at Amazon. How can I assist you today? You have that same vibe. But instead, Instead of that boring job, you're a night labor, so you, you get to take people on vacation. And the moment that you make people feel like they're not on vacation, your money is being stopped. Anyway, I'm stopping bags like the TSA. So it's up to you to take them to vacation or not. And I say take them to vacation and keep them in vacation. And every time that they see you, they're in vacation. Okay? Now, that is selling the fantasy beyond physical, the vibe, and the impression. You stay pleasant, okay? I am your what? Fairy God sister, your fantasy sister, the one that don't exist. I'm only up here. And anytime that you feel like that you're slipping, do this. And I'll be there looking at you saying, girl, get into it. Take them on a vacation. <laughs> I am Jay Jaya Lee. Each one, teach one. Bye.